Satyabama Institute of Science and Technology. I'm Dr. Meenu Susan Jacob, Associate Professor, Department of Computer Science and Engineering, Satyabama Institute of Science and Technology. Today we are going to discuss the topic phases in data modeling. In this, uh, we'll be discussing what is uh, data modeling, various components of data modeling, and phases in data modeling. What is data model? Data model is a pictorial representation of an enterprise's data and its relationship between various data. Or otherwise, it is a visualized representation of tables and relationship among these tables. As you can see in the picture, this is a picture of a data model or this is a data model itself wherein as you can see we have four tables, product, customer, order line and date in which we can see the relationship among this data uh, entities as well. The tables are otherwise called as entities. We can easily understand it as it is a pictorial representation. Various components of data model. So, in order to develop a data model, we have various components. We have entities, attributes, relationships and various keys. As you can see here, we have product and category are, are our entities and product entity has got certain attributes and as you can see, we have certain keys, key attributes and non-key attributes. If you see here, product ID is a key attribute and the category ID is also a key attribute. So, in order to develop a data model, we need all these components. Now, various phases or stages in data model. So, in order to develop a data model, uh, basically we have three stages or otherwise it is an iterative process in which it has to go through three stages. So, uh, we, as we can see there are three stages. The first stage is conceptual data model, the second stage is logical data model and the third one is physical data model. So, the first one is conceptual data model. As you can see in the picture, you can see certain boxes. We have three boxes there. These boxes are nothing but the tables or the entities. So, you have customer, product and supplier. These are the names of the table or otherwise we also call it as entities. And uh, when you develop a conceptual model, we only have an abstract representation of the problem statement. Uh, supposing you are taking a business model for e-commerce, and if you are developing a conceptual data model, you won't be worried about the internal details. You will be only worried about what are the major elements we are going to deal with or what are the major entities or the tables we are going to deal with. We don't discuss anything about uh, you know, internal details like you know, how it is going to be executed or what are the various uh, you know, internal elements available. So, when you look into a conceptual data model, any user can easily understand what is the business is all about. So, uh, you know, it is highly abstract in nature. You don't discuss anything in detail. And, uh, you know, you can, uh, as it is very simple and uh, very abstract in nature, you can easily enhance it at this stage. And uh, you don't require any software tool here. You can just have a pen and paper in order to develop this conceptual data model. Now coming to the next phase in data model which is logical data model. As I told you this uh, development of data model is an iterative process wherein the output of the first model will be the input for the next model. So the model which we developed in the previous stage which is our conceptual model will be taken into consideration here. So logical model will be developed or uh, improvised with the help of the previous model which is our conceptual model. So as you can see here in this picture we have uh, you know, few more uh, things added into it. So, uh, previously we only had the table names, but you can see here uh, you have some attributes added into it. For example, if you take the product entity, we have product ID, product name and category, which are called as the attributes or otherwise we can also call it as uh, you know, you know, the details or the detailed description of the data which we are going to give it inside. And uh, when you uh, discuss about the attributes, there are two types. We have key attributes and non-key attributes. So you can see uh, same example, product if you take, product ID is a key attribute, product name and category are the non-key attributes. So product ID, why we have key attributes is because when you set key attribute, it will help you to uniquely identify a particular record in the table. 
Okay. So, similarly, if you take customer, customer ID is a key attribute, order line, if you take order line ID is a key attribute and also you can see there are uh, you know, two other key attributes which are product ID and date ID which are considered as foreign key which is taken or referred from another table. So, uh, attributes are two types key attributes and non-key attributes. So, when you develop a logical model, you will add the attributes along with the uh, title or the table names. And uh, in this stage as uh, you know, user friendly attribute names are added here. Uh, so, the user uh, any user can easily understand this level as well. And if you if at all if you want to enhance at this stage, it is ok you can go ahead and enhance there is uh, no much uh, issues here. You can uh, you know, modify the model in this stage as well. And uh, you know, we can have certain tools here in order to develop a logical model, we can get help from tools like Erwin, Power Designer, Vertiblo, etc., which will help you to design your logical model. And this data, uh, this uh, logical model is actually a database agnostic, meaning uh, we do not do it for any particular database, it is a generic model in the later stage, which can be. Uh, you know, upgraded or which can be used for any type of database like MySQL or Oracle or MongoDB or any type of database you can later on uh, use it for. So, uh, that is why we use the term database agnostic. It is a generic at this stage, it is generic in nature. You can use it for any database in the future. And uh, we have as we are using tools here, the enhancing process also is easy. Uh, you can use the tool and later stage this can be converted to the next level as well. The third stage of uh, data model is physical data model. Uh, you know you can as you can see in the picture, we have one more thing extra added here which is the data type of each attribute. As we already discussed, we have product is the table name in which we have product ID, product name and category are the attributes. And you can see product ID, we have mentioned the data type also here. Product ID is of type integer, product name is of type character and category is of type character. So, we have added something extra which is called as the data type of each variable. And as you can see, the name of the attributes are also changed here. If you go back and see the previous model, your, your names, uh, attribute names were user friendly. But here it is not user friendly, it is database administrator friendly. So, you can see product underscore id, generally we, we do not use space in between for any variable name. So, you can see every attribute name in every table, it is not user friendly now, it is more of database administrator friendly. And also you can see instead of character, we are using something called as varchar here, which is basically a database specific. So, this is uh, basically uh, this uh, physical model is for MySQL. So, as we discussed in the previous case, logical model is database agnostic, it is a generic model, but when it is coming to the physical data model, it is specific to a particular database. Okay. So, it is not uh, generic, it is specific to a particular data model. As it is uh, specific for a particular database, it is very, very difficult to modify at this stage. If at all, if you want to modify, you will have to go back to the logical stage and you will have to uh, start from there. You cannot modify here, but you can have the integration as we are using tools like Erwin or Vertiblo or Power Designer or things like that. We can easily port it from logical model to the physical model. So, uh, as it is specific to the database, it is very, very difficult to make changes at this stage. So, uh, it is an iterative process and we have reached to the last stage which is called as physical data model. Now, actually database administrator can very well take it and uh, make a database which is needed for their application. So, in order to conclude, uh, we had seen what is data model. Data model is a pictorial representation of tables or the data and the various uh, data of an enterprise and the relationship among this data. And there are three stages for data modeling, uh, conceptual model, logical model and physical model. Logical, uh, the first model is conceptual model which is abstract in nature. As you come to the second stage and the third stage which is the physical model, it is uh, more uh, know, compatible to the database which you are going to develop the model with. Thank you.